Hello and welcome to my own devices. You know, it's been almost two years since I launched this channel and I'm getting really close to reaching 10,000 subscribers. I really appreciate all the support and I'm asking you now to help me reach that awesome milestone by subscribing and sharing my videos with friends and fellow enthusiasts. A while back, I bought this shit Valhalla 2 headphone amp and these Sennheiser HD 650 headphones. And they are a really great combination. The Valhalla 2 provides plenty of gusto to drive these 300 ohm Sennheisers very adequately. The open back HD 650s do most things very well, especially in the all important mid range. The bass doesn't go subterranean and the highs don't sparkle to the extreme, but that's actually quite a good thing. It's a lovely, well judged and balanced sound that rarely leads to listening fatigue. They're also the most comfortable headphones I've owned. The soft oval microfiber pads feel great on the side of my head with, without too much pressure and my ears fit inside nicely. The Shit Valhalla 2 is a good tube headphone amp with preamp outputs. And I was looking for the tube sound last year when I bought it, but although it has four tubes and it sounds nice, unfortunately it doesn't really have that tubey sound I was looking for. And it does get incredibly hot. Not warm, hot, alarmingly hot. I emailed shit about my concerns and they replied and assured me that it's normal. Apos Audio asked me if I was interested in checking out a pair of Hi-Fi Man Sundara headphones and the Topping A90 amplifier. Now, I don't live under a rock, so I've seen and read numerous reviews of those two devices, and I said, sure, I would love to check them out. The Hi-Fi Man Sundaras are an open back planar magnetic headphone, which means the drivers inside are not dynamic cones like in the Sennheisers, but rather more like the thin Mylar diaphragms in my MagnaPan loudspeakers. And they've been a, this model's been around over four years now, so it's not a new product, but hey, this, the Sennheiser HD 650s came out in 2003. They are considerably heavier than the Sennheisers due to the more generous use of metal parts, it appears. And I read that planar magnetic headphones are usually heavier due to the technology they need to employ. And you know, these feel these feel really solid. The HD 650s have more plastic parts, which is why they weigh significantly less, but they don't feel cheap or flimsy at all. Comparing these to my Sennheisers, well, I actually much prefer the sound of the Sundaras. They sound amazing. I mean, simply put, to me, they match the mid-range quality of the HD650s and have superior bass and treble reproduction. They are fantastic and I could listen to these all day. They're amazing. And for under 400 bucks, they gotta be the bargain of the year or the bargain of the decade. They're terrific. My biggest issue with the Sundars is the cable that comes with them or that shipped with them to me. It's rubbery plastic and it still retaining the coiled up shape weeks after it's been uncoiled. I'm not a fan of this 90 degree jack here. It can be awkward, it's fiddly, it's, you have to, it's easy, more difficult to grab and pull out. Give me a straight one, it just goes in, goes out. Not this thing, you have to, it gets in the way, the knobs get in the way and things and you gotta fiddle with it. I, I hate fiddling, just give me this. I definitely suggest that you upgrade the Sundara's stock cable. The Apos Audio Flow Cable is a great option, for example. The YouTube channel Passion for Sound review the Apos Audio Flow Cable, and I agree with Lachlan. It is a definitely a quality product. Looking at the Topping A90, you get a nicely built metal box that can sit discreetly on your desk and provide you with hours of listening pleasure. And if you look at all the reviews of this unit, it's considered by many to be like the gold standard of headphone amps at $500. The word on the street is that the A90 measures extremely well and sounds, sounds clean. 
And I can attest that it has a smooth and yes, clean and neutral sound. No emphasis on, on a particular audio frequency that gives it some kind of unique character. Very, very nice. Nothing to complain about here. I have a reputation as being a bit of a vintage audio guy. And back in the old days, I don't recall many dedicated headphone amps, except for back in the eighties, when I demoed a pair of incredible Stax electrostatic headphones that was sold with its own amplifier. What did we use back then? Well, the headphone jack in the front of our receivers or integrated amps. And for the past few months, I've been trying out different vintage receivers on my desk and using their headphone jacks rather than the shit Valhalla 2. And you know what? Overall, they sound terrific. On these vintage models, they run the headphone jack directly off the power amp and they insert a resistor into the signal path to drop the power down to a level that the headphones can handle. And this means there's plenty of power on tap to drive lower impedance headphones like the Sundaras or less sensitive models. There's no inferior op amp like you might find on a CD player or a tape deck with a headphone jack. Well then, how does the sound compare? Well, I've been using this Nakamichi TA3A and this Luxman R3045. And both, surprisingly, stand up extremely well to the topping. I mean, these are 30 and over 40 years old. The topping may be a tad more resolving than the Nakamichi, but honestly, there's not a lot between them. And the Luxman actually goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the topping. The A90 may, might be a bit more laid back than the vintage 40-year-old Luxman, but once again, the difference is that I can hear listening with the hi fi man Sundaras is not night and day. It's, it's very close. The topping is compact and it feels very solid. And you can also use it as a simple preamp and it has plenty of useful connections and balanced and unbalanced and it has plenty of power. And it appears to be a nice value at $500. Now the issue with a vintage receiver, it, it does take up a lot of valuable real estate on your desk and they can be fairly heavy. I'm not saying they should run out and buy a vintage component to power your headphones. But if you already own one or are using one with a pair of speakers, try it out with your headphones. You might be quite surprised by how good it sounds. I certainly was. Now, if you want to simple and compact desk or bedroom headphone setup, the Topping A90 with, with your DAC and the Hi-Fi Man Sundaras is an amazing combination. You can't go wrong there. In terms of sound quality, the Sundaras are an especially amazing value for under $400 and they really impressed me. And they weren't quite as comfortable as the Sennheiser HD 650s, but I should have bought these. <laughs>